everyone. Uh, so today we're going to talk a little bit about Calvin Warren. And Calvin Warren basically starts by problematizing Heidegger, right? And Warren is trying to basically question what is it about, you know, being and Blackness that sort of makes it so that Blackness constantly stands in for the anxiety of the world, right? And so that's a little complicated, but we'll break it down, right? So we should obviously start with the transatlantic slave trade and Calvin Warren is definitely um, similar to Frank B. Wilderson in a lot of ways. So um, if we start with the transatlantic slave trade from here, we sort of see that, you know, transporting the Africans to Europe was a combination of violence and so, and the taxonomy of skin color or, you know, the way that the human was designated, you know, who and who wasn't human, all of that, you know, became a way in which the African was seen as sort of a new discovery, right? And so the birth of the black or the slave or the Negro, all of that happens when the African sort of you know, no longer exists as the African and sort of is altered in relationship to humanity, right? Humanity looks at the human and then looks at the African and, you know, there is this birth in the new world, right? And so that birth is, you know, a culmination um, and happens in relation to death, right? So the death of the African produced what we now understand as Black bodies. And so we can think of many things, you know, during the transatlantic slave trade in order to identify points in history in which these things are true. We can think of things like slave ledgers, you know, we can think of, you know, if we think about slave ledgers, right, we think about how there are many names in those books, right? There are many names that aren't in those books. There are many names that aren't right in those books, right? And so ultimately all of that speaks to what? It speaks to the question of history, right? Where is the truth or the authenticity of our culture, of our history? And that is kind of the point of the slave ledger, right? The slave ledger is not only there for the European or for the human or to categorize, blackness versus the human but also is there to remind us that we do not have a culture that we do not have a history or that our you know relationship to the world is now over determined by the you know disproportionate amount of death that black people experience right we think about the hold of the ship right we think about where bodies sort of laid in congruent relation to each other right they're laying you know uh, side by side, you know, literally stacked on top of each other, you know, only a little bit of room, you know, left for more uh, black, you know, slave uh, women than there are black men, right? And the black men are, you know, forced to do, you know, more labor. And so this, all of these things culminated together, created a sort of new invention, you know, something other than human. And so the human, you know, got to, you know, basically, you know, sign off on the status of the slave. And so that transportation, right, the, the, the Black beings being uh, travel, you know, are traveling through violence, you know, uh, if we think about the transportation of those bodies, you know, if we think about labor, technology, finance, government, communication, science, religion, all of those things were made possible by European colonial slavery. And that's what Warren is trying to say. And so Warren is trying to say that like, we black people do not exist in relationship to the world without something being taken away, right? And so ontology or being in the world, those things for black people exist only in relation for the world to project its power and hegemony onto black people's flesh. And so basically, if we understand all of those things, then it basically speaks to the current status of our world, right? Things I was saying earlier, Trayvon Martin, you know, Renisha McBride, Michael Brown, all of those names prove that blackness is literally intrinsic to the to metaphysical violence, right? And so Warren is trying to complicate what Heidegger originally is trying to think about. Um, when it comes to being and thinking about what does exist outside of our own, you know, our own understanding of what it means to be human. And so I think that many people when they read, 
you know, Warren, they assume that when Warren is speaking about, you know, the, uh, the uh, speaking about Black being, um, he's ultimately speaking about every iteration of Black people in the world. And I, he's talking about a specific, you know, type of Black person, one who attributes or cures their relationship to the world as one of the human, right? And that's why he says Black being, right? Because those Black people associate their agency with being inside the realm of ontology, with being able to access those things. And that is constantly conflated for what Blackness actually is, which is a, you know, a non-existence. And so ultimately Warren is trying to, you know, distinguish between the way that Black people associate themselves with, you know, the metaphysical properties of, you know, of the West and of, you know, of, you know, violence in general and, you know, the way that Black came into being in the first place. So thanks so much, y'all.